Today I'm going to show you how to make your own screw, a homemade screw. So I was working on my project making this 10 amp hour battery. I need a long screw that is about 4 inches long. In fact, it's a little bit more than 4 inches. And uh, I have this screw, which is 3.5 inches long. And, uh, this is what is commercially available and uh, I try to find in uh, all the hardware stores. Nobody is selling anything more than three and a half inch size six. So I figure I just made my own. And here it is. So today I'm going to show you how to make it. This is a piece of art all by itself. Okay, for this project, I'm going to use some bronze brazing rods and uh, these have a white coating on the outside layer and the inside layer of the rods is uh, the same diameter as my uh, screw which is size 6 which is uh, what I need Alright, so first I got to remove this white flux coating So, and uh, you, if you want to completely remo remove this white coating, uh, get a towel, paper towel, get some water, in, and, and you can wipe it off because uh, this part here is uh, water soluble. See that it's uh, nice and clean. But you don't have to completely remove the white coating. Uh, I think this should be good enough. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to mount the top of the rod. So it will become the head of the screw. Uh, to do this you need a very hot flame and usually uh, if you have propane it's not going to make it. Uh, you need to have propane and oxygen mixed together. So you need another bottle of oxygen and then uh, two line coming in to one line and uh, that will give you a harder flame. With the propane alone it's not good enough to melt bronze. But I have to work with what I got. I don't have an, uh, another oxygen tank. So the trick is to put the flame along with the rod, in line with the rod and uh, that will uh, make it harder, make the rod harder if you do it perpendicular to the rod like this the flame going this way it only hits the this part here the rest of the rod is going to act as a heat sink so it's not going to be hot enough to melt the, uh, the rod by directing your flame this way you're hitting the entire rod, not just this part. So uh, this part here is going to be harder because now uh, the rest of the rod doesn't act like a heat sink anymore. You're hitting the entire thing, so it'll melt. Um, it'll make it easier to melt. doesn't take long at all and then I'm gonna grind the head flat with my grinder and then cut the uh, cut a slot on the top to drive the screw
Here we go. Is that beautiful? Next, I'm going to cut a slot right on the top of the screw. Here we go. Now, I need to make some threads at this end. And I'm going to use my Dremel tool here to cut the thread, the, the right side of the screw in this direction. The right side has to be taller than the left side. That way, when you turn the screw clockwise, it will go in. Right? The threads should be in this uh, direction. If you do it like this, then when you turn it clockwise, it will go out instead of going in. So I'm going to cut it at an angle and I'm going to spin the screw. Okay. So it will look something like this. Okay. There you go. And so now I just need to grind the head to make it uh, pointy. There you go, and that will do. Now let's try and see if it works. We like so. There we go. It's nice and tight. You see the head of the screw almost reach the top of my uh, cover right here. But that's good because it goes the entire length of the inside of the hole. Beautiful. There you have it folks to make your own screw that uh, sometimes cannot be found anywhere and uh, you have to make it yourself all right thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time